What's going on everybody? It's John Carlo and we are back with another video. Today, we're going to be looking at the 2020 Fall Winter Supreme lookbook. Now, I'm making this video the day this lookbook came out. It's 8.47 in the morning right now on August 17th. And you know, on my channel, I've never done a formal lookbook for Supreme. I've always kind of just talked about the pieces and vlogs, but because I'm gonna be moving to New York in September, I figured it'd be a great idea to start talking about the Supreme stuff because I'm gonna be making it more of a weekly thing on the channel because I'll be in New York. And this is all happening within the next couple weeks, guys. So just get ready. Follow my social media, at Giancarlo Perch on Instagram, Snapchat, to get updated with me and what's going on with the move. I just posted a reels, actually, on Instagram of just pretty much all these boxes with like a little song. So trying to update you guys on what's been going on. And truthfully, this is an easy video to record. So it'll be definitely a lot easier on my workload because I'm worrying about things I've never had to worry about, y'all. Your boy got a house. And I'm just telling you, the content is gonna be next level. Stuff I've been waiting to do for the last couple years. So let's hit the preview, view all, and let's just get a little scroll. Woo, there's a ton of stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna make my comments on just about every single piece. And uh, before I get started, real quick, look at this. Wanna show y'all the Blazendary merch? We're gonna be dropping these Blazendary crewnecks within the next week, so make sure you follow the store at Blazendary. And if you guys notice, I'm wearing the plus 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 pendant. This guys is gonna be releasing to you on Black Friday on Blazendary.com, shipping right before Christmas time. Uh, this is actually real silver, and the colors change from like purple to silver. It's insane. All right. Let's get to this lookbook though, guys. Right off the bat, we have this varsity jacket. Now, just cause it's purple, I mean, doesn't mean I'm gonna like it as much. It says King on the back. Cowhide leather, the color is all right. I mean, personally, I couldn't see myself wearing this. It's got a nice hood though. Could be cool for an outfit picture, but probably gonna sell it if I end up buying it. Ooh, this is sick. This is a bomber jacket, the Globe MA1. And so it comes in two different colorways. Wow, I used to wear this style of bomber jacket all the time back in like 2016. This one with all the patches on it is really, really cool. Really sick, definitely gonna be a cop from me. I mean, the parkas, we've seen a bunch of parkas and my luck with Supreme parkas, I buy the ones that depreciate the hardest. None of these to me seem that appealing. The colors are just meh, the design is meh. This is probably gonna be a drop. Now, this is what Supreme was teasing on their website, their Instagram, the faux fur reversible hooded jacket. Very cool, very nice design. It's reversible, as you guys can see. There's the quilt on the outside. I really like that colorway of it as well. Both colorways are a hit, definitely a cop for sure. Next up, we have this leather worn jacket. Uh, the leather stuff, I mean, it depends on what you're buying. Leather can be a good investment if the retail price isn't too expensive. Generally, the Vanson stuff, people are a fan of it. These in particular don't appear to be that unique or special. There's no collabs on them. I'm worried the price is going to be too high for retail and it's probably going to be a pass from me. Next up, we have the reflective speckled down jacket. This is really nice. I think it's gonna be the, the speckles that do it for me. If it wasn't for the speckles, I don't think I'd be a fan of it. And if the speckles are reflective, now that is cool. Oh, and then it looks like we have the fox jacket. Uh, probably just the black one's gonna be a cop for me. Next up, we have the Toshio Seki work jacket. Unless this is the only thing that's coming out this week, I'm probably gonna pass on it. Uh, if there's other stuff, I might go for the other stuff instead of this. We have the hooded jackets up next, the twill over dyed colors. I mean, not a fan of either of these. I feel like we've seen these styles of jackets before a ton from Supreme. Now I heard the rumor that there was gonna be a Smurfs collab, which is appearing to be true right now. It's got a Gore-Tex Smurf collaboration right here. Oh, a couple different colorways. So there's a camo, a yellow, a black, and we got Papa Smurf, look at Papa Smurf. I like all the different Smurf personalities on the jacket. I gotta say, this will be a cop for sure. Oh, here's the pants. Uh, that would be a pretty crazy outfit, yo. All Smurfed up, definitely gonna be a cop. We've seen this before, not personally my style. I'm probably gonna pass on these. Uh, even the denim, like I feel like it's gonna be too baggy for me to like it. All right, we have the hooded down jacket. It says Supreme, oh! That is cool. What are those receipts? For sure. None of the other ones, I would say. Uh, oh, and it comes in its own little baggie as well. Wow. That jacket is going to go for a lot of money. I'm telling you guys right now, you want a piece of investment advice? Buy that jacket and just hold on to it. 
This kind of reminds me of like an art piece. I forget what the name of it is, but uh, very cool. Definitely gonna be a cop, that one. Ooh, that is a very cool tone as well. The yellows, the blues, the dark grays, the magenta. Wow, both of these are stunning. If I get my chance on either of them, I'll definitely say that's a cop. Water resistant poly marble track jacket. This one's, mm, I don't know how I feel about the track jacket. It's probably gonna have to pass. Here's the purple one. Yeah, probably still a pass. It's, it's kind of ugly, actually. That one's a little better, I would say. It looks kind of like lava rather than marble. I'd say the pants would be a cop, not the jacket. The pants would be a cop. The piping track jacket. We've seen a couple things literally named like the piping track jacket from Supreme before. I feel like I have two of them in my closet, so these are just going to be a pass. They're too basic. Nothing really stands out for me here. All right, here we go. We have the officially certified uh, chronometer Supreme so this is like a diver watch spinoff. They're basically, uh, it looks like they're copying Rolex in this instance. Uh, and here it's like a, sort of like a glow in the dark theme jacket. That's what it looks like. Oh, and it's reversible. Wow, they're doing a lot of reversible stuff this season. Definitely something to note. Whoa, that is a cool colorway as well. I would have to say the black. Oh, actually, I don't know. Between that or the black colorway, that's going to be tough. But this guy's definitely go for this one. It's going to be a reselling hit for sure. I can see that. I mean, the yellow is kind of basic. The purple is basic as well. I'm just going to admit it. Uh, as far as these goes, this would be the only cop just for the print. All right, guys. Next up, we have the Aerial Tapestry Jacket. This is definitely going to be a cop. I love the shot right there. Beautiful view of New York with the Supreme Banner getting flown. These right here, mm, even the checkered one's kind of meh. Probably going to pass on the velvet stuff as well as the pants. Just, yeah, pass. All right, here's the penguins hooded fleece jacket. This is cool. This is really unique. I like that. I like the penguins. Whoa, it comes in like a little pink. That's like a his and hers. Maybe you'll see one out of me. Look at that. There's a gray one as well. This set right here, huge W. Definitely going to cop that. As well as what do we got? The side logo track jacket. I mean, the tie-dye looking one is kind of cool, but mm, kind of basic. Just, just that one little print right there on the side. Literally side logo track jacket. How many different track jackets can you make? Right here we have the Chains Quilted Jacket. I think this one is really nice. I think that it's cool that they have some of the Supreme accessories in there, like the pliers, the buck knife, some of their gold accessories, the gold playing cards. I have actually the gold playing cards right here, so that's pretty cool that I can show that. I don't have the buck knife, but I do have the Supreme pliers. Definitely gonna pick this one up just for the fact that they have all the other accessories on there. Ooh, the Zippo as well. Dang, your boy's got like all the accessories today. I can't wait to set up the stuff in my new house. You guys have no idea, it's gonna be amazing. And here we go, next one, the Houndstooth logos. That kind of looks like a Ricky shirt from Trailer Park Boys. I absolutely love that show, one of my favorite shows of all time. And just for the sake of Ricky, I'd maybe cop this one right here. Otherwise, probably gonna pass. Smurfs collab right here, the denim trucker jacket this will definitely be a pickup for sure because of just resale value these pants are pretty nice as well oh wow i love all the different colors on there that color palette is beautiful the pinks the blues the reds oh what is this a second variation it is look at that pretty basic jacket we've seen this kind of stuff probably gonna be a pass from me Vest looks cool. It's got the classic logo right there but i'm not a huge plaid guy right here we have a wool overcoat Probably gonna pass on the wool overcoat just because not my taste. There's the other colorway of it. This set right here, probably gonna pass on it. Now right here we have uh, ooh, a jacket. Definitely an interesting print on it for sure. Looks like this is a collab refrigiware insulated iron tough jacket. Can't say I'll be going for this though. Here's a vest version of it as well. Yeah, probably gonna be a pass from me. I don't think I'd be wearing this, it's not my style. Sort of looks like a 90s cup with some Lakers theme on it. All right, here we have the Contrast Script Varsity Jacket. Probably going to be a pass from me. Not a fan of the style or the colorways that this one comes in. Here we have the Curve Logos Ripstop Jacket. Once again, sort of just like one of those jackets we've seen a bunch of times. Here's some pants for it. A little bit better. I kind of like this black pant right here with the little logo going down the side of the leg. Right here we have a Digi Floral Corduroy shirt. I may pick up the one in the middle just to kind of diversify some pieces in my collection. And this next piece we have these studded collars rayon. I like the white one. Plaid flannel shirts. You guys see Supreme. They release this kind of stuff a lot. Uh, the rayons. What is this one? It says Supreme and some smoke with two little lips right there. Right here we have the logo stripe denim shirt. Couldn't see myself picking this one up either. Right here we have the chains rayon. This one is cool as well. It comes in a jacket and it looks like a shirt. 
jacquard striped twill shirt this is like a professional shirt sort of business attire you know what i'm saying like that black one right there pretty sharp got the marble versions of the shirts as well here's the patchwork oxford shirt same kind of deal business casual nifty little perspective rayon right here probably gonna pick these up for the resale long-term hold Classic logo is a very iconic logo for Supreme. It's also the Courge Paris logo. Nice to see they made the penguin shirt as well as a jacket, but I think I'm going to be picking up the hoodie. Oh, whoa, right here we have a crochet zip-up sweater. I wonder how much time that takes to even make, even if it's like in a factory or something. Like how long does the machine have to sew this material for? I wonder how much the retail on it is. Maybe it's going to be really expensive or... Uh, not because it's maybe a really easy way to do it. I, I have no idea. Right here's a brushed plaid sweater. I don't really like these kinds of sweaters. You can literally see the, th the threads and stuff at the top of it. Probably not gonna feel very nice texture wise. So I don't think I can rock with it. Maybe, maybe this one, just cause of the color. I think the color on it's really hard. Yeah, they call it mohair. I'm not sure what mohair is. Right here we have the iconic Supreme logo they've made rugs out of this stuff as you guys can see it's on a sweater probably gonna pass on it otherwise maybe just buy one for resale if there's a good opportunity there uh here's the static sweater this is cool i like how it's like kind of tie-dye and rainbow at the same time uh that one's kind of basic though right here we have a wind stopper i have to say the design on it is very interesting and unique it's a gore-tex material on the inside looks like we have another one of those mohair pieces but this one's a cardigan sort of tiger king vibe probably gonna pass on this set probably gonna pass on this as well just couldn't see myself getting down with these uh these sweaters the stone wash sweater this basic logo is very nice looking could consider this one picking it up to you know add some spice into my collection i would have to say this colorway this blue one is the nicest well, how do you guys feel about these small box sweaters? Because it looks like they're going to be releasing some more stuff with this small box logo. Whether it... Oh, is this just one colorway? Oh, no. We got a couple more colorways right here. So as you guys can see, we have the full color lineup. Uh, definitely going to be a good resale piece because people go crazy for the small box stuff. Right here, we have a world-class long sleeve top. Could be good for resale. Plaid zip ups. We've seen this kind of stuff. Stay positive jacquard top they should have hit your boy up for this one and it's got the purple oh that one's fire yo i might pick up every single colorway in that uh this right here the stripe velour half zip pullover kind of funky looking if you ask me this ss top comes in a couple different colors but it's probably going to be a very expensive retail price because it's uh considered a ss top the contrast stitch polo this is sort of meh a couple different colors on it here's the cutout sleeves long sleeve this one could do well. I could see this one reselling well. You guys see it? Thin stripes. Here we have the multicolor logo. This one is nice. I could see this one reselling as well, the black version. And we have the Supreme Washed Tee. Very nice. I like that they're doing like a washed collection this year, it looks like. Right here we have a dragon hockey jersey. Very, very cool. Definitely gonna be a cop for sure. The velour baseball jersey. Probably gonna pass on this one. The tiger embroidered baseball jersey. Could have good resale, but I'm gonna pass. Here we have a paneled football jersey. Here's all the jerseys it looks like coming up. Soccer polos, not a big fan. Micro stripe long sleeve top, okay, this one's okay. The college logo, looks like they have a couple different cutouts of it. I like the different cutouts right here, pretty cool. Yeah, and a couple different colors for that as well. Here we go, here we have a dyed basketball jersey. This could definitely go for some resale dough as well as it got like teen, there's some teen colors. So there's like a NYX colorway right here. Right here, we have the scatter logo, long sleeve top. Here we have the cutout logo, short sleeve top. As you guys can see, a couple different colorways on this. Not too much of a fan on it, just cause you can't really see the logo, maybe from far away. Here we have a hooded sweatshirt, World Class 94, uh, some t-shirts, and uh, we've seen that print a couple times. Oh, small box tee, there you go. Bob sled long sleeve top, pretty cool. I like that one, I like the print on it. Here we go, there's that perspective long sleeve top. Here's some shirts, so right here we have the bleed logo. Here's the plaid applique, short sleeve top, probably gonna be expensive retail. Another one, this is like inverted stripes. That's kind of cool how they have that on the logo. Couple different colors in this one. Here's a lame ass mother what I think that might be. Couldn't say I'd wear this one, but maybe if you're on a road trip, it could make for a cool photo op. What do we got? This one right here. Uh, this one could resell, maybe not. It depends on what they're charging for that retail price. 
Uh, ooh, ancient. What is that? Like uh, hieroglyphics. That's pretty cool. Oval logo. Very small. A lot of different colors. Here's looks like a digi camo small box tee. Uh, wow. Really going all out on the small box tees. Here's one of those jacket prints that we saw earlier in a shirt. And more of the pocket tees. Not small box. Just pocket with a little logo. The big stitch hooded sweatshirt. Mm, this one's kind of cool. I liked it. It looks like the... Looks sort of like a Google logo. Oh, wow. The cross box logo hooded sweatshirt. This is insane. What are they? Are they comparing themselves to like a like a godly status? What is this reference right here? It's not perfectly in the center, so it's not a plus. It's definitely a cross. That is interesting. You know, I really wonder how this one's going to resell because of the fact that oh my god they're doing multiple different colorways yo there's a purple why didn't they just give us a purple on purple why'd they have to do us like that why they got to make it like the jesus piece in the center huh wow this guys this is gonna be one of the craziest anticipations of the season just because who knows what the hell these colorways are gonna resell for like some of these colorways right here you have the sage and the peach if that is a sage and peach those two colorways individually go for like over $1,500 themselves. We've seen the red on gray released, but we haven't seen a purple on purple. What are the chances this thing resells for over $1,000 because there's two box logos? Wow, uh, here's a Smurfs one. I don't even know how to come off anything else after that double box logo cross reveal. That was crazy. That is going to be one of the most interesting pieces of the season for sure. I'll stop talking about it though. Let's move on. Here we have the shop hooded sweatshirt. Looks like just Supreme shop information. Kind of cool, good advertising for Supreme. And we have some more of the patch stuff, this time on a hoodie. Aerial crew neck, I love this one. This one's definitely gonna resell. Buy it, all my resellers. Uh, the studded collars, pretty cool as well. I might have to pick this one up. The icy arc, wow, that's really nice. I like that colorway right there just because it looks the most like it's, you know, icy. There's different print all over this hooded sweatshirt. Could have some good resale value. Right here, we have the Pharaoh studded sweatshirt. As you guys can see, the studs in the top of the hood. And there's the Pharaoh in the back. I wonder if that's King Tut. Here's the S logo. Whoa! Is that? Those are little box logos. That's going to go for quite a bit of money. More money than some of the other S logos. They're really going all out on their branding this year. Here's the Jules hooded sweatshirt. Uh, they did like a Jules pant at one time. Here's the sweatshirt for it, I guess. Oh, there's a globe zip-up hooded sweatshirt. I think it's interesting how they have the globe on the hood. That is pretty unique. And they have a couple colorways. I like the purple. I'll probably pick up the purple. Here's the anti-everything hooded sweatshirt. Kind of basic looking, not a fan. Here's the pearl hooded sweatshirt. I don't know who that pearl is, but I won't be wearing that on my shirt. The spray hooded sweatshirt. Mm, not really a fan. Just the colors are a little out there for me. Enterprises, Supreme Enterprises. That logo is unique. I like that, whoever designed that. Here's the micro logo hooded sweatshirt. Couple different colorways, probably a pass. Here's the zip up sweat vest, pass. Windstopper small box logo hooded sweatshirt. Could be good for resale value. It really all depends on how you value that small box logo. And guys, it looks like we're getting into the pants. I'm just gonna do a little favor for myself and just kind of skip most of them. We've, we've seen most of them with most of the prints like Here's the aerial sweatpants, you know, like the S box logo. Here's a Fox collab basketball short. Here we go. The photo tee of the season, the Pharaoh Sanders t-shirt. Here's a tire tee. Here's a New York tee. Stay positive with a nice little message in the back. I am always improving. I can do more. My mind is clear. I feel stronger and stronger. I do it now. I remember my goals. Supreme is with me. What an interesting last bit of branding there in the end, but what a great message overall. The balloons tee, the jet tee, these are going to be great just to hold on to. Whoa, the Futura logo. Holy crap, they're bringing this one back. This box logo goes for a lot of money. Justice for all in the back. Verify tee, yo, this one's going to go for some bread. You already know it's the Supreme Capacha. Select all images with Supreme. Uh, let's see, we have the Kermit, South Houston. Supreme logo, school buses, the lover's tee. Yeah, all these tees are just going to go for some money, guys. And that looks like the t-shirts. As far as the hats go, guys, I mean, I'm not a huge hat wearer. I know some of you guys may be like, Blaze, I wear every single hat. All right, we'll go over a couple of them. Okay, the static beanie, definitely a cool beanie. Crusher, probably gonna pick this one up for the gags. 
I mean, perfect for Corona season, the double logo face mask theme. You might as well just put your eyeballs in there and walk around in your favorite stores all maxed up. Same kind of deal, the new era Bava Clava. These kinds of items will go for a lot more money now that we're in a environment where you're always having to wear a mask when you go outside. The Faux Fur Trooper piggybacks off of the lookbook item, the jacket, so I'm probably gonna pick up that blue one. And guys, we're gonna be getting into my favorite part. Ooh, the accessories. I've been waiting to see what some of these have been now for the last couple weeks. Let's go, the backpack. Gonna be a great one. I'm gonna pick up every colorway of the backpacks and messenger bags, shoulder bags, etc. I will buy one of every colorway. I really will because I think they're a great long term value. The zip tote, probably gonna pass on the zip totes just because totes in general don't do as well unless they're fire. Like this one's pretty fire, but that might be the only zip tote I buy because they, the, they made them off the backpack. The mini duffel bags, these could be a hit if you hold on to them. Maybe not so much immediately because they'll probably release a ton of them at first. But guys, like what I'm trying to say is you hold on to this for like two years, brand new in a bag, putting your money in a stock. It will just double in price eventually. I'd be surprised if it never doubled in price. I think over time it will. Ooh, the sling bag. Here we go. This one will be a hot seller because they haven't done a sling bag. And there's a lot of people I know that really like that sling bag styled vibe. Hell, I'm coming out with a sling bag. I wasn't going to say anything until I see Supreme, of course, releases their sling bag way ahead of me because, you know, their whole production team versus me. The sling bag going to be a fire pickup for sure. The waist bag, man, they're, they're, these are all going to be great, great pickups. Uh, you just buy them, you hold on to them, and your money will just do its thing. The neck pouch, I'm unsure of what this, oh, it's like a neck pouch, literally. Um, okay, this one maybe do okay. The waterproof reflective sparkle backpack, they're building off that sparkled jacket that we saw earlier. Uh, looks like they're gonna have the same colorways as the jacket, pretty cool. I would have to say I'm gonna pick up probably just one of them for personal, maybe the blue one, because I don't know how these are gonna resell. They might have a really, really high retail price. The shoulder bags, definitely pick up some of these because I think they're gonna resell very nicely. That right there, that will resell. All right, now we can really get to the accessories because bags aren't really accessories. Okay, here we go. First up, we have the Jacob & Co. Time Zone Watch. Very, very cool time zone watch. You can tell they have the Tokyo time, the Paris time, the York time. I believe these are where the stores are as well. The Supreme stores, different Supreme stores are located in those areas. Another Jake Binko is the lock pendant. This probably will go for a lot of money and I don't think it'll resell right off the bat. Maybe in a couple years it will. Holy crap! They're coming out with an arcade machine? This is like those one-ups. This is, uh, yeah, this arcade up. My dad has this same exact machine in our house, in my parents' house right now, because it's only a couple hundred bucks. With the Supreme branding, they might charge a thousand flat retail. That's gonna be my guess, or 800 maybe. I'm gonna have one of these in my home. I really will. I'll make sure of it. I'm gonna do a little recap. Maybe I'll pick it up in person. Who knows, because I'll be living in New York by then. Coolest accessory by far. All right, right here we have the lipstick. Uh, definitely gonna be good for the girls out there that are in a Supreme. Right here, it looks like we have one of those bed couches. Like, I remember I had one of these as a kid, but I mean, I have to say, with the pills on it, they really could have done something better as far as putting a graphic on it. Even a standalone color would have been better than this. I mean, it's going to be cool. It'll resell. I'll probably get one, but could have done something a little better for the graphic, probably. But hey, that's Supreme. You know, they're going to go all out, and they are going to do outlandish things. Uh, if they ship a fish, that would be interesting. That's interesting and outlandish, but it looks like it's just a bowl. Holy crap, they did it. They made toothpaste. This would have been really appropriate when they were coming out with like their little free toothbrushes, but it's still cool to see we got the toothpaste. Okay, there's the Chucky doll. Looks like he's wearing some Supreme overalls. I can talk if he talks, that's pretty cool. Eight is 15 plus, that's kind of cool how they have that. He's holding a little pocket knife that's branded Supreme as well. This will go for a lot of money. Uh, the jerry can, I have a jerry can in the back of my cars actually right now, so I'll just replace them with the Supreme versions. Right here we have a bellhop lamp. It's a tabletop lamp. Oh, that's gonna be really nice. Here's the collar's vase. We've seen this print a couple times now. I'll probably go ahead and get this one. This one seems to be a nicer color. There's the watch plate. Oh, that's a plate. That's pretty cool. Hey, my boys over at Sure got the vocal microphone collab. That's really cool. Oh, they have the metal folding chairs. I wonder if they're going to use these in WWE to smash over their heads. Personally, I'm going to probably pick up two of the red, two of the black, maybe four of the red, four of the black. I'll probably have eight in total. I'm just going to want to hoard them because this will go for money. I just know it because these director's chairs, I only own three of these director's chairs. I wish I owned like five of them because the price has like doubled. 
And I think the same thing's gonna happen with these. Oh, that's cool. It's like a little projector. That's nice. Okay, right here we have a step stool. Also really gonna be helpful in the house because I have the Supreme step stools. I have three Supreme step stools as well. So I'll have to pick up one of every color in this one. Whoa, we have the George Washington Spalding basketball. That's hard. That's hard. Yo, we just talked about the cards. It looks like they're dropping some new bicycle cards. I love magic tricks, so this is going to be right up my alley. Looks like we got some binoculars, a wrench. It's going to be great for my tool set because Supreme's got a ton of different tools. Whoa, a Swarovski Zippo? That's going to go for money. Maybe it's going to have a $100 retail or maybe even more, but this is going to resell. Like, this will sell out for sure. And it looks like we have a mini flask. Is that pewter? Yep, that's real pewter. Right here, we have the Supreme Folding Knife. Not the Buck Knife, but this is an Openel. So this is a different brand. Pretty nice looking. That's wood. The Power Station Go got an upgrade. So, oh wow, this is actually going to be a big, big accessory. Because just judging by the look of it, that power plug right there, a power plug is like that big. So you plug that in. This box is going to be about like that i'm just trying to scale it out it'll be a it'll it won't be like a small little handheld thing this will be like a, a very large item right here we have the diamond storm headlamp i've actually i have a headlamp myself so might as well make it the supreme version now oh that's cool name badge stickers finally they're coming out with an iphone case they did the supreme mophie ones but when they did them like they made a new phone so nobody like used it at all like i remember i saw nobody using that supreme mophie case uh, but now it looks like we had some official ones and all those companies that make the fake cases might have to watch out because Supreme's coming in with a real one. Right here we have a Hydra Pack bottle. As you guys can see, it shrinks down to a really small compact size. Very cool accessory. I'm gonna pick one up. Looks like they're coming out with the Lowe's again. They're probably gonna restock them continually. Uh, another thermal crew neck, different variation. That's cool. Long John, same deal. Uh, here's a Honer keychain. So what is that, a harmonica? Oh my god, it's a miniature harmonica with four holes and eight reeds. Wow, I'm gonna pick that up. Here's an original retractable keychain. So it looks like it's a metal version. You know what I'm talking about. Here's just a simple webbing keychain. Probably gonna be like eight bucks, 12 bucks retail. Pick up the purple one. Stay positive button. Love this whole stay positive collection. Yo, this skateboard is gonna go for money. I'd buy that just to hang up in my home without the logo. Wow, all these New York vibes. I'm getting like, I'm getting so excited about it. <laughs> the Jet skateboard, very cool. I'll pick up probably every single one of these. Camo logo, probably I'll go for every single one as well. These will resell. Uh, the balloons, I'll probably pick that one up. Probably won't pick up the pill skateboard. I'll probably pick up the cruiser. Here's the pipe skate key. So as you guys can see, it's a pipe as well as a skate tool. And lastly, the trucks and the wheels, which we always see on the Supreme website. Wow, guys, this, okay, this was quite a collection. And let me just say, I'm real excited for my move to New York. I, I cannot wait just seeing all that New York stuff and just kind of being there, the atmosphere, the content, the vlogs, everything is going to have a new vibe. So just get ready, guys. These next two weeks, they're about to be pretty crazy because this hype room, this will be one of the last times you guys will see it fully finished in this room in this fashion stay tuned for the next hype room reveal the moving vlogs the videos there's gonna be a lot more content coming soon i'm feeling really good about uploading and just taking like a little break over this summer corona i feel like was a big reset for everyone so i just think i'm gonna try and make the best of it and go forward in the best positive mindset that i can thank you guys so much for watching it's your boy blazonary signing out stay positive and peace out see you guys with the moving vlogs and videos very soon